Hey guys, welcome back to the Technic Adventure. So today, as promised, we are going to finish up construction on uh, our nuclear reactor in there. And I've gone ahead and made all the parts that I need and everything. So first, what we have to do is we are going to have to build some heavily insulated wire. And I don't have a thingy up here, so let's go down here. And I believe I go like this. Like this, maybe? Okay, insulated gold cable. I don't know how much of that I'm going to need, so I'm going to just go with 12 for now. Because then I have to take it and put more. And then I have to do it again, I think. Oh, no, I can't do it again. I thought it was. I thought I had to do four times wire. Hold on. Four X. There we go. High voltage cable. So is it not gold? I think I just fucked up. It's iron. Okay. So yeah, I just fucked up. I gotta do high voltage iron cable. That's the one I need. Oh crap! Where's all my iron? Oh, wait, there was some iron in there, wasn't there? Alright. So, I got gold cable for later. If I need something, I guess. I don't know what the hell I would need it for, but... Who knows? So, let's just, uh... I'll just make ten of them. Okay, is it... Is it refined iron? It is refined iron. Okay, do I have any of that in either one of these? Yes, I do. Alright. Let's just do ten of these bad boys. And then I'm going to need to go get my, more rubber. And then I take these... I insulate them again. Oh wow, I made a shit ton of them, didn't I? And then I insulate it again. And I need more rubber. And then I insulate it again. There we go. Alright, so now we have some high voltage insulated cable stuff. And then I built so I went ahead and built some transformers. We'll go ahead and go over here and hook these bad boys up. Alright, so basically, where's, what did I do with the back? I don't know, I went through the top, didn't I? Okay. So, I think I can, yeah, here we go. For This is the MFSU unit, I already had that over there, you saw me. High voltage is, uh, did I, I guess I have some of this cable somewhere already, unless I only made enough. Shit, do I have more of that? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. I probably do have some left over somewhere. But that makes the high voltage transformer, which is what the power will run into. Then it will run into the... No. Then it will run into the MFSU unit. Then it will run into this. And that's what... That's why I had so much gold and rubber. It's because that's... I made these, like, like, two days ago. I made all the parts that I needed for this, like, two days ago. So I don't remember... And then this one's like the easiest to make. And this will be last. So it'll go through this first. Then it will go to the MFSU unit. Then it will go to the mid medium volt transformer, I guess. And then low voltage transformer. And then from there, it will run over to that wire, to my glass fiber cable. So there we go. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get this on here. Okay, so that's not working. So, I'm going to need something to put it up against, I guess. Dirt. Dirt will be fine, I guess. As I sit here and drown. Alright. So let's get rid of this dirt. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to drown. That would be stupid as hell. Okay. Can I reach that? Nope. Alright. Now, we we'll go up. Come on, why won't you come through there? Why can't it? It won't. It's like it can't come through this hole. There it goes. Alright, now we'll run it over here. And now, am I having it run down? I guess that's how I wanted to do it. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Now, I need the high voltage transformer. This one. And that will go right there. And then what I gotta do is I gotta take the wrench and hit the top of it. Just like so. Now I can switch over to this cable. And what I will do is I'll bring it down to about here. And then is that the MFSU? Yeah. And so I'll do that. And then I think I gotta Yeah. Yeah, that's how that's how I'll do it. And then I need the medium volt transformer. And it will go right here. And then I gotta take the wrench. Boom. I think I'm doing this right. Depends on, I guess it depends on where I want the stuff to come out at. So I guess right here. Okay, so then, boom, take the wrench again, like that, and then I can run it out of here. And I think I'm just going to run it down, oh shit. <laughs> like, so. Like, so. And there we go. Now that should that should be all wired up correctly now. Power will go into there, then it'll go into there, come through these transformers, and then go out to my machinery to where my machinery does not explode. I'm pretty sure I have that all hooked up right. Alright, now I'm literally just gonna dump my entire inventory here. No, I think I still want to hold on to my flying ring. Leave that one thing in there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to be tabbing out a little bit here. Oh, I made another wrench. I made two wrenches. Oh, well, those come in handy as fuck. Okay. Now. These. Now this, this recipe, or recipe, or whatever you want to call it, I actually got from another YouTube... I got this from uh, uh, Duncan from the Yogs cast. Duncan does tech it, and he got, he said he got it off of the internet. So this is a Mark One setup, I believe, is what he called it. But I've tested it in other in other in other uh, maps and on the server that me and me and Resi play on, and it works beautifully. I mean, it works exactly how you want your nuclear reactor to work. So, set all this up. I'm having to tab out. I'm so horrible with remembering how things are. And then I believe you literally just do the same thing on this side, like this. And I either didn't make enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. I thought that was how many... I was supposed to have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, okay, I see what I did wrong here. So he didn't have one up here. He had this one right there, and he had a cooling cell right there. All right, so now let's grab our kill, 
cooling cells, coolant cells. And actually, where is... While we do that, see, I, I got overzealous and destroyed everything, so I had to put down a generator, because I need to compress my uranium. While you're working on everything else, go ahead and compress your, your uranium, so that you can make uranium cells. Coolant cells are just water that you put in the extractor, and uh, of course cells are just tin. Alright. Oh, I'm, I'm just jumping into this not even thinking about what I'm doing here alright so these need to go over here and then these go over here and then these spots is where the uranium goes So it goes the same way on the other side. And I already screwed up. Did I? No, I didn't screw up yet. So it goes like that. No, because... Yeah. Okay, I got this. I got this, guys. We're not going to blow up. That's ridiculous to even suggest that. So just chill. Just chill out. We're not going to blow up. We're not going to blow our shit up. We need some more of these. And then fill up the rest right here. Boom. Yeah, I don't have enough to make another one. I think there's supposed to be one right here, but he didn't have one right there. And I don't have enough parts to make another one right now, so. Should be fine. Should be fine. Alright, now. Where's my. So, refined iron. And I think you just do it in the actual. You can do it in your. Like so. Yeah. Alright. Moment of truth. We are about to hook, we're about to put the power in. So let me double check everything just real quickly here. Make sure I got this all hooked up correctly because if I don't, then this is going to be a very bad day for us. Alright, come on, show me the picture of the whole thing here. Alright, so high voltage, and then it runs into the MFSU, and then that goes down. Okay. Alright, I got everything hooked up exactly how I did in my other, in me and Resi's server. So, let's put this stuff in, and then hope for the best here. Alright, there we go. Let's check and see if we got power. We do not have power going. Okay. So what have I done wrong here? Let me go get a wrench. There we go. I did the same thing. See, doesn't that seem like plug in the power here? Take power from here. I did the same thing on well, when me and Re Resi were playing, and we I could not figure out for the life of me what I did wrong. But now, all this stuff is running. These are right. That's right. And this is this has got to be right. Look at that. I mean, not super fast, but we can throw on some solar panels on the roof as well, I think, and hook it up to this as well through the through a hole but boom we are now running nuclear power we are now a nuclear powered treehouse this should be running 
I guess the only way to make sure my machines are working is just to do it. Just to find something to throw in there. Alright, so let's... Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Son of a bastard. Um... Where'd that dirt go? Now there we go. Let's use that. You gotta be careful as shit with that stuff. Alright, here we go. Oh, I guess I don't have power hooked up to that one. Oh, that's right, because I think it was right next to a geothermal, so I didn't have any power hooked up to that particular that particular machine so let's go ahead and hook that bad boy up okay so for some reason I'm not getting any power to my machines This says it's got power. Mm hmm. All right. Okay, so they're not getting power for some reason. going in this is getting power so all right hold on Now it's getting power. So apparently, I can't put the MFSU unit there because that stops the power from coming out. There we go. There we go. Now I got power to everything. All right, we are running nuclear power. Let's go see how fast this thing will run now. Well, whatever, it's still running slow as hell, but that's good. Some good news right there. Block that off so I don't accidentally kill myself. All right, guys, so there you go. We we now have our nu nuclear power, so our, our power worries are over. Unless, of course, we can't find any more uranium, in which case our power worries are just beginning. So let's just go ahead and start this, start the drill back up here. Let's see, make sure this can get us some, uh, this crap can get us some uranium, hopefully. I, and I think the way it works is it'll actually uh, run for like two hours or something, like two and a half hours on this setup before I have to put in some more uranium. So you got power for a while before you actually have to worry about it running out. I'm just going to leave this crap in here for now. Put that wrench up. Get my tools back out real quick. Where's my axe? There's my axe. There's my sword. There's my laser. And get my weaponry out. And I believe that's good for now. Alright, so let's go check it out one more time so you guys can see the setup. So I'll just move the mouse. There you go. This setup, I've tested it. It works 100%. It works fine. I'm probably going to make another one of these to throw up here. But other than that, the setup works perfectly. And uh, what you want from a setup is for these to drain. 
but for your your coolant cells and your heat dispersers to not so all if you set it up right all the coolant cells should be like full green bars the entire time and then these will slowly drain and this setup does do that because I have like I said I've tested it on a on a server that me and residents are playing on and it works like perfectly this is a lot of wires going everywhere but it works fine uh, so if you want to use that setup just go and pause <laughs> just pause right here and we're back and what you're gonna want to do is run it through a high voltage transformer with this really thick iron cable this is a high voltage transformer come down to a mid voltage transformer then to a low voltage transformer and then run it out to your machinery or you can make transformer upgrades like the overclocker upgrade and put it here and it will automatically put a transformer into your machinery for you you don't have to worry about it at all so there we go let's see let's check it see how much power we're getting yeah and, and as time goes on we'll make even more of these we'll probably put like two on either side two more and hook it all up and we'll hook it up to uh, the same basically we'll come through when we make the other ones and hook it up to these other oh shit you can't okay well whatever I will hook it up to another transformer and we'll just have it all set up to going out here because I can put this on yeah Oh, that's what I did wrong. That's why I wouldn't, because I didn't have the power coming out of there, out of this side. That's why it was, it wasn't working right in here. So you could have it set up, but whatever. This setup works better because this room's completely contained now. I don't have transformers everywhere. And you know what we should do real quick before I end is make a door, a reinforced door. So how do I make a reinforced door? Reinforced stone. So I need s eight pieces of... S I need more. I need stone. I need lots and lots of stone. So let's go get some cobble real quick. We'll make a reinforced door. Even though you could just like chop down the... You could chop down the fucking wall. Let's put that in there. Uh, cook up some stone real quick. Come on, come on. Alright. And then I'm pretty sure there's some of those alloy plates. Yeah, there are. Alright. Oh, wow. So that should be enough right there. Reinforced door. And then I think you need, I need two pieces of stone to make a button. Yep. Got the button. Alright, so let's go f finish our reactor 100%. Uh-oh, what did I do? Okay, I didn't do anything. I heard it like loud-ass click. Put the door down. Put the button up. Everything's working. F oh, shit. Alright, put another button up, and there we go. There is our nuclear reactor cold room, 100% running. We got power to everything, and uh, we're ready for the next phase, which I'm not exactly sure what it is, but we'll figure it out on the next episode. So we'll see you guys later. Bye!